Hey everyone, welcome back to Health Hack Guru. You may be aware that consistently high blood sugar levels can lead to a host of health problems, including diabetes, heart disease, and more. So, it's important to be mindful of the foods we eat and how they affect our blood sugar. Many foods, even the healthy ones, can increase blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. But you don't have to skip them entirely. Learn how to approach these foods for better blood sugar control. Sit back and watch this video till the end as today. We will share with you 6 surprising foods that tend to spike blood sugar levels, and how to moderate your approach to them for more stable blood sugar levels. Number 1 on our list is, white grains, which are a refined source of carbohydrates. White grain containing foods, such as white bread, refined flour, pasta, and rice, are all examples of refined carbohydrate sources, which means much of their fiber has been removed during processing. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that has many benefits and can help control your blood sugar. Because the body is unable to absorb and break down fiber, it doesn't cause a spike in blood sugar the way other carbohydrates can. It also helps you feel fuller longer, to reduce the likelihood of overeating, which can negatively affect blood sugar. To fix this, pair white grains with lean meats, healthy fats, and non-starchy vegetables to make white carb-containing meals friendlier on blood sugar. For example, one-third cup of cooked white pasta counts as a single serving and can be paired with chicken breast and broccoli sautéed in olive oil for a balanced meal that will keep blood sugar levels steady. You can also opt for whole grains, such as whole grain bread and whole wheat pasta which are rich in blood sugar regulating fiber. Quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, and hulled barley, are also great whole grain options. Number 2 is beetroot and other starchy vegetables. People assume that because beetroots are vegetables, they're food that you can consume endlessly, and your blood sugar will remain in a stable zone. No. Not so. Starchy vegetables, such as beets, carrots and potatoes pack a greater quantity of carbs compared with non-starchy vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and lettuce and can raise blood sugar much faster. But, make sure you don't cut out starchy vegetables entirely. They still provide good nutrients, and some can even be higher in fiber than non-starchy vegetables. For instance, one medium white potato contains 2.38 grams of fiber while a cup of cauliflower has 1.02 grams of fiber. When planning meals that contain starchy vegetables, just make sure to count that starchy food as a carb, and then pair it with low GL foods such as lean proteins and healthy fats. Enjoy beets with a full-fat plain yogurt onion dip and carrots with guacamole or hummus. Number 3 Plant-based milks which can surprisingly be high in sugar. While traditional milk is considered a carb food, it also has about 8 times the protein of many plant-based versions and half the carbs of grain milks. It's the protein content in cow's milk that's thought to help control blood sugar response. But most plant-based milks aren't a source of protein or fat they're typically more carb-based, especially ones that are made from grains, like rice and hemp, and are flavored, like chocolate or vanilla almond milk. The currently trending oat milk being and rice milk tends to be the highest in sugar. Look for unsweetened options and check the carb count before you buy. If you opt for a higher sugar choice, either limit your portions or balance out the meal, by mixing it into oatmeal and peanut butter, or blend it into a protein shake. Number 4 is fruit, which can spike blood sugar when overeaten. Yes, it's true that fruit can spike blood sugar levels, but that's no reason to strip it from your diet entirely. After all, fruit is rich in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber, all of which are great for your health and management of type 2 diabetes. Your approach, make sure that you count any fruit consumed as a carb, with one tennis ball-sized piece of fruit counting as one serving. Opt for whole fresh or frozen options when possible because they're unprocessed and don't come with the addition of any sugars. If you prefer canned, make sure the fruit is not packed in sugary syrup. Dried fruits will drastically spike your blood sugar. That's because these fruits have been dehydrated, meaning they contain just as much sugar as a whole fruit, but in a single bite. For example, while a whole apricot has just over 3 grams of sugar, only 2 tablespoon of dried apricots has that same amount. So watch out for the portion size when eating dried fruits. Number 5 is frozen yogurt. Many people consider frozen yogurt to be a healthy alternative to ice cream however, it can contain just as much, or even more, sugar. In fact, manufacturers often add more sugar to balance out the yogurt's sour taste. Per half cup serving, frozen yogurt contains roughly 17 grams of sugar, while ice cream contains 14 grams for the same serving size. Ice cream does contain more fat than frozen yogurt, roughly 3 grams more, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fat can slow the body's digestion of sugar, meaning you'll feel more satisfied and won't experience as rapid a blood sugar spike as you might after eating frozen yogurt, comma and quat. If you want to have frozen yogurt, seek out brands that contain real ingredients and not a list of preservatives or thickening agents and try to keep your servings to half cup to help keep your blood sugar in check. Number 6 are store-bought salad dressings. 
Food companies tend to stuff sugar into their salad dressings and vinaigrettes. Use just one fourth cup of certain dressings, and you could be sweetening your salad with a full tablespoon of sugar, which won't exactly do your blood glucose levels any favors. When buying salad dressing, check the labels and seek out dressings with only 0 to 2 grams of sugar per serving or, or just make your own salad dressings. Stock up on quality oils and vinegars to make your own vinaigrettes and cut out the added sugars completely. There you have it, folks. 7 foods that tend to spike your blood sugar levels. Remember, making small changes to your diet can have a big impact on your overall health. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Share and subscribe to Health Hack Guru and I'll see you in the next video.